Are you okay? Yes. Megan finally figured out the radio. What happened? I was so scared when you didn't come back. The mom, it's not safe down here. The eclipse causes the plants to release a toxin that affects our nervous system. Toxin? Clark, are you sure it's not just you? No, no, it affects all of us. I mean, some of us worse than others. But... You don't understand. I'm not saying you're imagining it. I'm saying the toxin is you. Think about it. No one is safe around you. Because the only people you won't kill die anyway trying to protect you. Your father died because he needed his little girl to know he was a good guy. Lexa died for the same reason. You infect people, Clark. And Maddie's next. No. No, I won't let that happen. There's only one way to stop it. How? Take out the knife. Good. Now put it to your throat. If you're gone, she can't die trying to save you. I would do it for you. Maybe you don't really love her. I do. That's it. You have to cut deep. Make sure you sever the carotid. Come on, Clark. You can do this. I know I told you that there were no good guys. But we both know that was a lie to make you feel better. There are good guys, Clark. You're just not one of them. Oh, look who I found. Come on, not you two. Put the knife down or I'll put one in your leg. What are you waiting for, Clark? Come on, don't make me do this. What fun as it would be to shoot you, Bellamy will hear it. Don't listen to him. Cut deep. Do it now. Hey, hey, Clark, 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 listen to me. You're speaking into a radio with the power off. So there's no indicator light. No, Clark. Do it now. Clark, Clark do it. Clark. Good choice. Since you're clearly only a threat to yourself and not to me, what do you say we save Bell before he kills both of us? 